What is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 18 Ultimate Team Game. We made three big new improvements to our squad today. One, we got a couple of new offense alignment. Two, Odell Beckham Jr., who was previously on our team as a 90 overall power-up wide receiver, is now a 93 overall using his new primetime performers card which cost a lot of coins, almost a million to be exact, but Odell's my guy, so I have to pick him up as he goes downfield and is nearly intercepted. His Odell makes the tackle to prevent the interception. Third down and nine, that will be broken up by our other big upgrade, Eric Berry. 93 overall, powered up, strong safety, fourth down, McNabb breaking the sack from J.J. Watt, keeping the play alive and hitting Antonio Brown for the first down. Man, that should have been a turnover on downs. That's J.J. Watt, man. Come on. But it's a new Donovan McNabb as well, who is not getting away from Jadavion Clowney. That'll bring up a third down and 20. McNabb dumping down to Tyler Eifert, which is perfectly fine by us. That'll bring up a fourth down and eight, and you got to go for it when you dump it down on third down like that, which he will with McNabb rolling out, and he's got to run for the first down here, and that is not even close. The fumble recovery doesn't really matter. It's a turnover nonetheless. J.J. Watt kind of gets redemption by getting that recovery right there. Nonetheless, here comes our offense with McCaffrey spinning to bring up a third down and short also getting us into field goal range if worse comes to worse we have all day to throw this ball finding Randy Moss with the spin move first down and touchdown for Moss who's gonna do a weird little dance for us so yeah we got Eric Berry I like the Adrian Amos you know the famous Amos all that stuff the diamond card really cool but when a new Eric Berry comes out you guys know that's my favorite player in the NFL I had to pick him up not only that his card is actually really good the zone coverage on this card is 98 all right, it's insane. This is like pretty much along with the Steve Atwater, the best strong safeties in the game. So, you know, Eric Berry's on our team. We're going to try to use her with him throughout this game. See if we could go Berry picking as that will be incomplete. That was just a thrown up ball and he punts the ball. So it's not really too big of a deal. But Ramsey had a really easy shot at that. I don't know what happened as Deion Sanders on the return. Fourth down. Oh, what a spin move. Deion keeping the play alive. Oh, man. This Deion Sanders is so slippery. I don't care if you get like an 85 overall power up version of Deion Sanders. You have got to get Deion on your team one way or another and put him at the return spot because he is just crazy elusive. It's so much fun just returning the ball with Dion as we actually get stopped on third down, bringing up a fourth down and five. We're going for it, and that will be a turnover on downs. Trying to hit Odell, and he actually dropped Bruce Smith into coverage right there, which I didn't expect at all, to be honest. I just threw it to the hot read and ended up working for him. Now here he is with good field position, third down, finding Antonio Brown. So we know AB is his go-to guy. We'll try to zero in on AB a little bit more as McNabb protected, leaving the pocket. And McNabb going to lose the ball again, taking a big shot from Ryan Shazier. And that's going to be a turnover in the red zone. Costly mistake by him to not get down. Running into our middle linebackers who are two hard-hitting guys, Ray Lewis and Ryan Shazier. You cannot do that, especially when you have at least three points on the board. So we actually get a first down right there via his encroachment penalty. And Odell will get us another first down. Problem is, I'm not... I'm managing the clock pretty much at all right now. I'm, I'm just letting it milk. I'm not really paying attention to it. I'm just kind of, you know, razzle dazzle, just doing my thing. And then we just throw it to Randy Moss. And all of a sudden, it's like, yeah, let me call a timeout really quick. Let's see if we can get a touchdown. We're at least in field goal range. Let's try to take another shot downfield. But that play is locked up. I tried to hit him with the fake wheel, but um, yeah, that play got patched. So we have to find something else to do, like just throw it down the seams to OBJ. We use our final timeout so we cannot get sacked here. Just going to take one shot for the end zone to Beckham. Oh my, Odo Beckham Jr. Check it out. One handed catch for the touchdown with two seconds left before halftime. That's why you get yourself an OBJ. And check this out. Odell was so hyped. Look at him back there. He's dancing after the PAT. Well, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know why he's doing that. I didn't even pick a celebration when I scored the touchdown with him. I have no idea what he's doing, but hey, man, that's how you feel, Odell. Let him know. We will start the second half with ball. If things weren't bad enough for this guy, here comes Deion Sanders on the return. We're going to see if we can make something happen going outside. Oh, Sanders makes one miss. Keeping the play alive. Deion, whoop! Sanders is gone! What time is it? Prime time! What time is it? Yep, yeah, prime time. Telling you guys, Deion is very fun this year. I don't care if you get an 85 overall Dion, an 82 power up Dion. Just get Dion and put him at the return spot. Like, he's got crazy high spin, juke, and break tackle rating. So, he's just such a slippery returner. And 
Even though his carrying rating's not high and he's a risk to fumble the ball, like, he might as well put him out there and have some fun. And, you know, you guys see what the best case scenario is. Dion going to the crib. As we force the rage quit right there, he really had nothing going on offense. Uh, he called Bronco seams on fourth down in a mile. And we just sent a blitz at him. I don't think he really knew what he was doing. So with us sending the blitz, that just made things fall apart for him. And here we go to our next game as he's returning the ball. And he will be returning it to the 27-yard line. Not a bad return. He's got Diamond Matt Stafford at quarterback. Throw the J J Watt first play of the game. J J Watt picks his pocket as Vic. Um, I try to run play action right there. I really don't know what happened. Vic just kind of glitched out. Second down, rolling out the pocket, looking downfield. That's Beckham caught it and spun him out for the touchdown. Odell Beckham Jr. Hey, man, this guy, like I said, cost damn near a million coins. He better be spinning people out. He better be making one-handed catches over linebackers to somewhat justify the price I paid for this, man, all right? <laughs> and it's going against the guy with Giants jerseys as well, so probably a Giants fan. He's probably is happy to see Odell doing this, just not on his team. He's got Stafford, like I said. Stafford's got a little bit of mobility, but it's all about that throw power, but you don't want to throw it at Eric Berry. We're going berry picking. Yeah, so you don't want to put your hands in the cookie jar. He's done it twice in the first minute of the game, including one to J.J. Watt. That's not too great, but he's going to get some redemption right here by getting the interception with Xavier Rhodes. A very good play to click on right there when Odell looked like he was about to just blow right by Rhodes, and I just threw it anyways. I was like, screw it. Odell is doing pretty good for us right now. Let me see what can happen, but he just undercut the ball right there, got the interception, trying to get the ground game going. Now that he's throwing two interceptions, the natural thing to do is slow the pace of the game, but third down and one, he tries to pass the ball, and Shazier comes up the middle from his own 10-yard line, keeping the offense on the field. Here comes pressure, and that'll Force the bad pass intercepted by Green. Didn't have to be intercepted, but I guess we'll take the ball anyways. Give it to Beckham on the run. And Beckham with the spin. OBJ. Touchdown. Run. He's got a catch. And he's got a rushing touchdown. Beckham doing a nice little dance right there. He's got his 14 points. He is absolutely stunning. It's all about Odell on offense and Dion on defense right now. And Eric Berry. And you see me trying to use a JJ Watt in the middle of the field. That's going to be dropped. Ronnie, I mean, like, Ronnie Lyle literally just dropped Beckham, not dropping the ball. Second down and 10. He's going to dump it down right there for a gain of five yards. Fine by us. Third down and six out the five wide. Pressure lobbing and up high to Jimmy Graham for the first down. This guy loved his high balls, especially the Jimmy Graham. As he comes out passing once again, getting away from the pressure. Just got to loft it downfield, and that's going to be caught by Graham at the four-yard line. Oh, Ronnie Watt, speaking of expensive players, my lord, is that Ronnie Watt not worth the coins, guys? And there is no scenario on this planet where Ronnie Watt is worth as much as he's going for in the auction house. But I keep him anyways, alright? Because I'm insane. Third down and eight after Shazier delivers the big hit. He's got all day to throw this ball. None of the four rushes we're sending are getting home. And Barry Sanders eventually uncovers himself for a touchdown. Great patience by him to sit there and wait until I heard a pressure came. Or someone got open as Dion trying to get away. Breaks one tackle. That's the thing. Dion usually breaks one tackle. I don't know why. Like, it's not like Dion's March on Lynch, but they kind of made him to be March on Lynch for some reason. Second down and eight, Beckham trying to recreate the earlier magic, but actually going to lose a yard or two there. Bringing up third down, out the five wide, and that is... Wow, Michael Strahan, I think, just lurked us. Okay, interesting. Fourth down and ten. That kind of pissed me off. I was like, all right, we're going to go for it. Oh, man, we had Beckham wide open in the middle, but he got a quick pass rush with Shaq Griffin. Next play, intercepted by Ramsey. As soon as we give it, we take it away. And for him, an unnecessary high pass because he might have had the touchdown right there, but he tried to throw it high, too high, broken up, and intercepted. For us, uh, we might have to settle down a little bit. As you see, Michael, all right, all right, we can just do some Showtime stuff right here. Try to make some Hollywood magic. Vic is staying alive. We still have a chance to throw this ball, and look who's there to catch it, Odell Beckham Jr. At this point in the game, I kind of thought it's time for Odell to eat. It's time to see how much of the load... Hold all right, let me just rephrase that. Before you guys come in the comment section and say something crazy, how much of the offense Odell can shoulder on himself? Third down and 10. Out the five. Wide in again. He's only sending three, but Shaq Griffin just keeps on beating Lane Johnson off the edge for some reason. He just keeps on clicking on some weird little user rush he's got going on. This time we contain it, and that allows Odell Beckham Jr. to get the first down and the hurdle. My gosh, Odell's doing a little bit of everything out here. 
I went for another fourth down because I knew as long as Shaq Griffin didn't get a weird sack on me as we run with Vic and do not slide, not smart. But yeah, as long as Shaq Griffin didn't get like an instant sack, I knew Odell was going to be open in the middle of the field. He was open all those other times. As we're looking for Beckham, still throw it to him anyways, and he's going to get the catch. Shaq Griffin going to make the tackle right there at the eight yard line. One more time, looking up high. Oh, Dell! Oh my goodness! He's got a hat trick in the first half, taking the contact and coming down with the ball anyways. Is O B J as we try to send pressure. Oh, whoa! Jimmy Graham nearly made the catch of the year. That would have been stupendous if he did that. Instead, here's Stafford on second down, dumping down. Tavon Austin. Go somewhere else. You don't want to be doing those little moves when Shazier's in the area. Third down. That's going to be incomplete. Fourth down. Look at this. We come out and punt safe on fourth down. And this was on purpose. I knew we came out in five wide. But I wanted to see if we could get an interception with Odell. He's got all of these different kind of touchdowns. What if we get a pick six? I'm lurking deep with OBJ, and oh, I really was hoping he'd throw it deep instead of it's incomplete. And look at this. I come out on field goal block. I accidentally just screwed his play up. He can snap this and get a touchdown. Why is he not snapping it? I eventually am able to get this thing back to punt safe so everyone's at least kind of aligned, but this dude just fell asleep at the wheel. He's going down at Beckham. Oh, man. Everson Walls. That is the worst interception I've ever had in my Madden career because that should have been Odell's and this dude decided, yeah, I got it. Oh, oh, Theon. Theon Sanders nearly got something going. Also nearly got stripped of the ball right there. It's worth noting that as we are looking all day with Vic going downfield. Beckham again with the catch and OBJ probably has all six of our catches at this point. I probably should be throwing to someone else, but... I mean, this point on, so we're kind of toying with our opponent right now, who is just not getting a pass rush, sending three, now four, still protected, going Beckham again! Odell cannot be stopped! So we go back to Odell in the rushing game, and that spin move's not really going anywhere. Odell's game is more of the juking game than the spinning game, which I realized after that play, so you know, as I whoop! Odell, make someone miss! I wish I did that on the previous play, or else we might have had a touchdown. It said third down and four. You already know who the ball is going to. It's just whether he comes down with it. OBJ up high, and that'll go out of bounds. Fourth down, the smart decision. Take the field goal. Then in this situation, I'm going to Beckham. I'm going to OBJ up high in the end zone. Odell, he reached out that one hand and nearly did him dirty. Instead, a touchdown here does make it a one possession game. So as much as I'm goofing around and having fun, this game is kind of sort of slipping away from us. Here comes Barry. Man, we're putting hits on this guy. If I could force one fumble, that would be cool. But I mean, this guy's throwing five interceptions. So there's a good chance he also throws number six. In the meantime, though, he's making some decent reaches, taking what we give him right here. I'm trying to send all sorts of blitzes. He's trying to throw all sorts of high passes. It's just a disaster on both ends, really. It's kind of, <laughs> it's like a train wreck, man, or a car wreck. It, it's really bad, but you can't look away. Third down and 17, going middle. That's a catch, and that is a shot from Eric Perry. Jimmy Graham is one tough customer if he's hanging on to those kind of balls. As you see, I'm trying to get a hit there with Ronnie Lott. Instead, he will move the ball to the 11-yard line, and he's knocking on the door, making this a one possession game as we head close to the fourth quarter. Stafford's got all day to throw this ball. We are getting no pass rush right now. Eventually, Lawrence Taylor gets what's equivalently a coverage sack as he keeps on throwing these high passes, man. So I'm gonna try to lurk it with JJ. Why he's not throwing it instead? He throws it into coverage and that's nearly intercepted. Swatted away, fourth down. Gotta go for it here with Stafford looking the pass up high. Oh, he's got the touchdown over J.J. Watt. I, I knew exactly what he was doing, and if I was really in the right state of mind and really cared to stop that, like, not to sound, like, cocky or arrogant or anything, but, like, the dude was high-passing all game. I knew that. But I try to get the pick with J.J. Watt. I try to be cute with it. But now, all that, you know, I guess you can call it arrogance. My call is just the game right here. So we have to snap out of it, get a couple of big plays. Here's one the Moss wide open, and Moss fumbles the ball! Picked up by our opponent with 3.38 left. Xavier Rhodes on the recovery, and with a one possession lead. We might not have that one possession lead anymore soon. That's a big time sack off the edge by Howie Long. Second down in 16, only rushing three. He's going to dump it down to Barry Sanders, which he's been doing all game long. Still fine by me. Still brings up a third down in nine. Look who I'm using. JJ Watt. We are in danger of choking this game away. And here I am using a Watt, trying to get the pick. And instead, Barry Sanders gets the first down. 
If I had anybody else, that's probably an interception for us. So I sub in Deion Jones, and we make sure we cover his high ball, get the interception. But how about the lateral to primetime? Oh, primetime, don't do him like this. Whoop! Deion Sanders is gone off the lateral. Prime time flying in, and he's gonna do the Dion dance. What time is it? Well, let me check my watch here. Yeah. Looks like it's prime time. Yeah, looks like it's dagger time as well. All the comeback efforts that this guy put in, all done by one Dion to Dion connection. Dion Jones interception, which honestly, if we didn't get that with Dion Jones, might have been picked off with Barry because it was such an awkward high pass. And then the lateral, which was just. I decided, I think Dion's behind me. Let's see what can happen. And at that point, I was like, please take this back for a touchdown. And man, we didn't. That was awesome. You guys forget, man. Before we did top 10 plays of the week, the fan submitted plays. I used to do my own top 10 plays of the week. I'm going to have to start that back up low key. If we're making plays like this. Dion. Well, basically just Dion top 10 plays. Not really my top 10 plays. Fourth down and six. Game on the line here. Up high. Too high. Stop throwing these high passes, dude. Like, come on, man. If you if you throw these passes normally, they might be complete. You can't fall in love with the high pass. And this guy with his six interceptions and a bunch of other missed reads, we'll show you that. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed all the hype Dion plays. Definitely leave a like for Dion Sanders wild and now. Subscribe for more Madden 19 gameplays. And I'll catch you guys next time.